Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and you're watching some more NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team. We've got some gameplay for you today and uh, we're still rocking our Series 1 team. So we've got our gift of giving Mike Richards as our centre. This dude looks like he's got a legend. Is that Wendell Clark as a, as a centre? So yeah, this, this dude could have a pretty good team. Uh, as it transpires, he has a very, very good team. Uh, he's got Taves up front, he's got Kessel, he's got Weber, he's got Lundqvist in net, uh, he's got Corey Perry, he's got Getzlav. He's got a lot of great, great players. So we're going to see how we do. We win the opening face-off, as we often do, especially now that we've got Mike Richards on the team. And the puck comes loose and comes back into our end. We're going to move on to a little later on in the first period. Malkin picks up the puck. Sharp back to Jones. Takes a shot on net. The goalie makes the save. Back on net. Lundqvist plays it out. Petrangelo plays it to Pacioretty. Malkin manages to get the puck. It squirms loose. And Patrick Sharp comes away with it. Skates up the wing. Lays it off to Malkin, who manages to squeeze it through Lundqvist's five hole. And the Seals take a 1-0 lead. Henrik Lundqvist is going to be a little bit disappointed about that. But here we see Patrick Sharp laying off a nice pass to Malkin, who's coming into the zone with speed. He bears down on Henrik Lundqvist and just slips it five hole. Another point from Patrick Sharp. We win the next face-off. We skated straight into the zone. Try for a high slot. And a massive hit. And play has to be stopped as we injure one of their D-men. Boom. Down he goes. He has to be carried out back. And now we're going to move into the second period. We've got eight minutes gone. Tory Krug to Mike Richards to Tatar and Austin Matthews comes up back to Tatar little toe drag oh and he hits the post great little move there the defense didn't play that very very well they parted like the Red Sea and we could bear down on goal very very easily a couple of minutes later we have a face off in exactly the same location the ghost plays it to Malkin Plays it through to Stasny, and again, the defence part like the Red Sea. Patrick Sharp makes no mistake. He gets taken down by Lundqvist, but not before he can toe-drag and wrist it past him. 2-0 to the Seals. We'll take another look at that. Malkin and Stasny with the assists, but you see Patrick Sharp bearing down on goal. Toe-drag, crashes into the boards to celebrate. And that is the end of the second period. We're going to take a bit of a look back at some of the highlights here. But a really, really good, solid hockey game being played. Some hits, lots of passing, some great shooting opportunities. And we take another look at that Patrick Sharp goal. Gets taken out just as he releases the shot. And the Seals are 2-0 up after two. So it's very, very early in the third period here. We've got the face-off in the offensive zone. Back to P.K. Subban. Can't quite get the shot off. And we've got the Warriors bearing down. Chara manages to jar the puck loose. And Austin Matthews absolutely claps a one-timer past Lundqvist. Again, the defence not doing great work here, making it far too easy for our Seals. See the pass coming in. Matthews makes no mistake, and that is his first goal as a Seal. A little more than a minute later, and Charan gets away, comes away with the puck. He passes it to Mike Richards, who does a little bit of a dingle dangle, toe drag, top shelf. Far too easy. Again, the defence are made a mockery. Zdeno Chara with the only assist on that goal. 
Otherwise, Mike Richards does it all himself. Another toe drag. And now we're very deep into the third. Another face-off win. Played up the boards. It kind of squirms loose, but Patrick Sharp comes away with it eventually. And it goes up to Paul Stasny. A little shimmy. Plays it to Malkin, who makes no mistake whatsoever. His second goal of the game. More points for Patrick Sharp and Paul Stasny, I believe. There you go. P.K. Subban and Stasny with the assists. But Malkin with a three-point night. Playing great. In the two games that we've used, Evgeny Malkin, he's got five points. So he's really putting up some strong numbers. And that was the end of the game. A very, very convincing 5-0 win. Celebrate with Marc-Andre Fleury. He didn't really have a tremendous amount to do in this game, despite the other team being absolutely stacked with top-end cards, including Legends. Take another look at Malkin's clapper. There you go. Great one-timer. Fans going crazy. And then Mike Richards... Nice look at the toe drag again there. And Stasny, acting provider for Yevgeny Malkin to make it 5 nothing. Here's a look at the game-winning goal. The very, very first goal. Malkin sliding it 5-hole. There we go. Shut your legs, Henrik. And people have asked, uh, what does my team look like at the moment? So I'm going to give you a, a quick update as to how my team is right now. This is a Series 1 team. So I've got Tatar, Richards, Austin Matthews, Sharp and Stasny have been providing loads of my points. And I've got Malkin on the wing, mainly because Stasny is great at face-offs. And Malkin, quite frankly, is not. I've got David Krejci, Bobby Ryan and Jordan Ebele uh, on my third line. They see a little bit of ice time, but haven't really put up uh, any points. Uh, got Ryan Kessler, Patrick Maroon, Team of the Week, and a Alexander Radulov, uh, mainly for all of the synergies. Uh, I've got great uh, face-offs uh, across my, my centers, so uh, I don't lose too many. Uh, on D, I've got Zdeno Char and P.K. Subban, a nice uh, little and large partnership there. Seth Jones and Tori Krug is maybe slightly less physical. Uh, I could do with maybe upgrading Tori Krug to someone that's got a bit more bite about him. And then my third line is Rasmus Ristolainen, who's been playing pretty well for me, pretty solid all round, uh, and the Ghost as well. And then Marc-Andre Fleury and uh, Thomas Grease uh, are in nets. That is my team. Uh, not bad for someone who's still in Division 8. Uh, but thank you ever so much for watching. I've been the Beanie 101. If you want to see some more NHL footage, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my channel. There's loads of videos on there for NHL, uh, and uh, there's more coming in the future. Appreciate all your time and support, and I'll catch you again in the next video.